Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hey, guy. Thank you. What's that? Jeez. <laughs> oh. I've just had a cup of tea. Do you think we should put the camelara? No, looks alright. It's a bit weird that we're both from white, though. We give you glasses on. Mm hmm. Take them off. No, I'm just. I don't. I no, just it's don't fine. Know what you, it you, you comment to me every time about my glasses. No, so I you like actually, you no, glasses. no, it's fine. I'll take them off. Even though I can't see nothing now. No, put them back on a little bit. Or... No, no, it's fine. I'm moving off now. Put them on. You're a pain in the arse. You're a pain in the arse. Why don't you say like? So it's us. We're back again. <laughs> Why would I say that? Oh, so it's us, we're back again. Hello everyone, welcome back. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what? You must feel something in your head that you're going to say. 99% of the time I don't. Hello everyone, welcome back. So as we promised last week, we are going to be doing the... 10 baby names we love but we won't be using. I've seen quite a few people do this video and for some reason it's just like I always really want to watch it. Basically if you haven't seen this kind of video before um, we're going to be doing the five boys names and the five girls names. Obviously this time we are not using a girl's name anyway but we thought we would include five girls names too that we're not going to be using and we probably if we do have more children in the future we probably will never use these names and there's kind of a reason why we won't use them. But we, they're names that we love. They're not like the name, the top ten names we hate. So this is not to offend anyone. Like no. These are names either we both or one of us loves, like and wants to name our child. But there's a reason that we either aren't going to or can't. And I do think it's harder to name a girl. I think when there's we like mm. a lot more boys' names and girls' names. I think there's a lot more choice of girls' names, and that's why it's harder. Well, the first boy's name is, that we like, but obviously we can't have because of our surname. I was going to say mine then, and then I realised we've got married, so it's our surname now. <laughs> is Max, because obviously... Yeah, got married. <laughs> <laughs> because of Max Payne. Um, obviously, he is a computer superhero type character. Don't Did quite know what he is, but... I'd be interested to know, though, how many of you guys would know that. Mm. Um, because we've said it to a few people and they were like, why do you care about that? Because uh, we really love the name Max. Um, but I think that's more because when I was younger, that was like the game. Yeah. And I think a lot of your friends were like, you should call him Max Payne. That is so cool. Yeah. Um, but to me, I just didn't want him his full name to be like something else is not like does that make sense like a, mm. a computer game or a film or something like that so it's just unfortunate because otherwise we really love the name max mm. so on to girls names obviously as i said we're not using girls names anyway but one of my favorite girls names maybe even my favorite ever girl's name is elodie i love that name i love how you can shorten it in different ways like um but that would be a problem for us because we've got a ne a niece. I'm gonna say nephew then, uh, a niece called Ellie. Yeah. So we would all we would probably short. We always shorten names for some reason, like me and you, don't we? Yeah. So we would always, even though Elodie, it would be L, and we already call Ellie L. Well, I do anyway. My brother hates it, <laughs> and I just think that'd be especially well, when Ellie, they're together. You could. I would actually personally shorten it to Liddy because I think that then, sounds really then, cute. Why? Why call her Elodie? Because Cause that doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Elodie, you could shorten it to Liddy, and I think that would be so uh, lovely. No, then you might as well Can call I it Lydia. Can I just put a disclaimer here? No. If we do have more children in the future, don't hold us to not using any names on this list. Yeah. <laughs> because there's looking through it, there's actually a good chance that I would be like, oh, I don't care, I'm just going to use one because I love these names so much. The second boy's name is Alfie, and we've got a simple reason for this. is because we used to have a rabbit when we first <laughs> moved out together, which you guys probably have seen at some point. Mm. No, no, probably not. Yeah, there's photos on Instagram, definitely on your Instagram. Oh, like way back. So, you know, you know. I, if anyone remembers that, I would be very shocked. Let us know if you remember very that. Shocked. Let's, let's prove her wrong. We didn't film like Day in the Life or Vlog videos. No, that's true. We but we had um, a rabbit when we first moved out. It was our rabbit. first joint pet together. And, yeah, and Wasn't sadly he passed away one scary bonfire night. Of, no, it was New Year's Eve. Oh, New Year's Eve, sorry. But I don't want to get into that, because okay. that makes um, sense. Basically, yeah, so he passed away, and now Kate can't relate anything to Alfie. No, it's not that. It's just... It, <laughs> when... So when um, we were deciding on names for Archie, 
Alfie had only like died the year before and we'd had him like a lot closer to his my pregnancy with mm. Archie so it just felt really weird like you don't generally name one of your children after a pet that you've had now it kind of feels like a long time ago um, but now the reason I wouldn't choose it is because I think Archie and Alfie sound very similar so for brothers I think that's quite hard and yep. I'd rather them have fairly different names and they're names, both, both be AP even though I think that's really cute like when brothers or sisters or whatever have like similar names but just to make it is as easy as possible for them and they're both the AP yeah they Initials. would be AP um, yeah I just think it's easier not to use that name even and though I've always loved the name Alfie and Archie was nearly Alfie our wall decorations downstairs we can't have two A's that just wouldn't look good would it the things you think of well. the second girl's name on the list is Isla um, and I've really liked that name for a while and I think a few years back it was quite unusual um, but I think now more and more people are using it and that's not necessarily the reason because it doesn't really bother me to be honest if there's a name that I like then I think it just doesn't sound good with our surname though Isla Payne that it's was a bit like I'm a pain yeah that was the reason oh my god that's the reason I forgot but now you've reminded me when I was pregnant with Archie and obviously we didn't know he was a boy yet mm. That was a name we really liked, didn't we? Yeah. But when we said it with the, with our surname, or your surname at the time, it sounded a bit like, oh, would people take the mick and say, I, I'm a pain, I I'm a pain. Like, sometimes you look into it a bit much, don't you? But, but I you do, do have to think of these I, things. Back in, I say back in the day, but back maybe 10, 20 years ago when people were having kids, I don't think as much they would be thinking about how they would be reacted to their peers at school you as have, much as we do now and I, other people. Well, yeah, you have to think about bullying and how our yeah. name's going to work. Now I do, I think you have to, and I think mm. it's probably a big thing that a lot of parents do when they're choosing names, but as I'm, what I'm trying to say is back 10, 20 years ago, I don't think they would have done that. Like I don't think our parents would have called you Katie and me Ricky and them for, oh, I wonder how we might be bullied No, I bet they did. I bet they did, but it's just... I'm, I'm called Ricky and it's spelled the female way, so they definitely didn't think about me. <laughs> Your mum didn't like it. No, she obviously hated me. <laughs> Third one is David. Now, I like... It's a bit weird. I think that it's quite old-fashioned now. I don't actually yeah. know anyone called David. Like, known to us. I don't think us. you get many babies called David no. right now. And I think it's more of like an uncle or like a, a granddad name. Where a dad name. Yeah, and I think... It's quite, I think it's quite a popular middle name, actually. Well, but why I, do you like the name so much? Well, because obviously when I was growing up, one of my idols, if you like, who I always looked upon was David Beckham, not only because mm. of obviously football, but as he's got older, he's become more well, like a family iconic image. It's just David like. Beckham. It's just, yeah. Like, he is amazing. Best looking man in the world. But yeah. I just think if we were to use it, we would use it as a middle name. You do really. Like, I just... I don't know, I just think it's, I have to be careful how I say it because obviously it's lots of people's names. I don't have anything against the name David whatsoever mm. but it's just not a very now name and I think in the future when like sort of our parents, like you know how really old fashioned names like Betsy and Ivy and all of those kind of names are like in fashion now, our parents names necessarily aren't in fashion now mm. but they'll all come round again so I don't know but... It will circulate back around. Yeah. So the third girl's name um, has always been one of my favourite names. I love it. I think it's a beautiful name. Um, it's Amelia. Um, but I just, again, I think it is either the first or second most popular girl's name. And, again, if we had a girl and I just still really love the name, it, it wouldn't necessarily put me off choosing it. But you just, I slightly worry when they go to school or they go to clubs and, just... and there's like five Amelias. But saying that, we don't necessarily go for really unusual names either, no. so it doesn't really matter. The next one, Jude, is a bit of a weird one. I don't. I mean, I'm not a fan of it at all. I put that down because I love the oh, name Jude. That'd be why. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. I think the only real reason we wouldn't use that name is because you wouldn't choose it, would no, you? No, it definitely wouldn't. And it's be. not one that could grow on you. No. Like I can get names to grow on him, but. He doesn't like Jude, but I love the name Jude. I think it's such a cool name. The fourth girl's name on the list out of the five is Polly. And I love this name so much. Um, I don't know. You've had this name for years. Yeah, I just love the name Polly. And I think Polly Payne sounds so cool. I don't know about anyone else. Oh, I love no. like double 
like a alliterated name so like for us it would have to be then her initials would be pp mm. like i don't PP. know i don't actually know many people called polly I don't know anyone. But I don't know if that's because we don't have kids at that age range where it might have been a popular name a few years I ago. I love that name. I don't actually know why it's on the list. Because I would so call well, a girl Polly. This, this is five names that we like but we're not using now. We might use them in the future. No, that's not the point of the video. What, wouldn't the, it? The, the point of the video are meant to be names that we really like but we will never use. But I want to call our next son Max Alfie David Payne. <laughs> Last boy's name. Albie. So this is quite an easy one for me to explain. So I played football with someone a couple of years ago and you, I know a few people go, oh, it's a couple of years ago, it doesn't matter. But basically they had a baby called Archie and we didn't know that they called their son Archie. And a few months later, obviously Archie was born and we called our son Archie. Um, and I didn't know they was due to have another baby three months ago, I think it was roughly. They had another baby, a little boy and one day I said to Kate, I was like, oh, babe, you know, I really like the name Albie. Like, hardly heard it, didn't know they was planning on calling their baby it. And then when they announced their baby's name, they called him Albie. So they have an arch in an Albie, and if we was to call our second baby Albie, we would also have an arch in an Albie. I think that's just a little bit weird. Well, I personally don't think that matters, because I don't even know this person. And no, but, if I loved the name, I, I really wouldn't care. No, but it, say, for example, there was another couple out there, we had a baby, we called him Archie. Mm. Then they had a baby a month later, called him Archie. They have another yeah, little they baby might be boy. Like, oh, that's yeah, a bit weird. they'd be like, oh, that's a bit. Fr like, it's a bit. Yeah. All right, Archie and Archie, I can understand, but both babies' names being the same. I no. didn't personally. I wasn't like that fussed on the name, and as well, one of the reasons for that was because Archie and Albie, again, I feel like are very similar names. Um, but so many people, when we've said it to them, have really liked it. It has grown on me over I, the months. I think but... it's one of those names that. Obviously, it's shortened from Albert, yeah, and it's become that sort of modern, popular Old name. classic yeah. name again, yeah. And I think that having that shortened slightly makes it a bit like Arlo, like Arlo, Albie. Archibald. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they're those very type similar names. names. So the last name on the list, I'm not 100% sure why I put it on the list. I think I was running out of ideas of names that we can't use. Um, but the name, the girl's name is Imogen, which again, I love. Like, these are my five of my favourite names apart from... I guess a few others that we would potentially use in the future mm -hmm. but it's not one of your favourites is it and no. I can't remember the exact reason why I don't think we could use it because I would probably be able to talk him round if we ever have a girl um, but I think the stupid reason is it sounded a bit like imagine pain like imagine pain which is probably again stupid and no one would ever think of that um, but it's just the way your brain works sometimes when you're yeah. trying to think of and a name is so important because your child will have it forever. So that's all the names on our list. Um, and yeah, I guess that's not very helpful in telling you the name that we no. are going to be choosing. And if you are going to use any of those names, obviously we have nothing against them. No, like I said, they're some of our favourite names ever. Um, if you want to have a little guess at what we're going to be calling the baby, that might be fun. Yeah. Obviously we've narrowed it down a little bit for you now by telling you that we're having a boy. Mm -hmm. Um, and we've told you five names that we like that we yeah, won't be using, so, so that narrows those it down. Names. Well, you never mm. know, because like we said in our gender reveal, we're not 100% sure on the name. No. We've got like a short list and one that Archie really likes. I really like it as well. Um, uh, but we always wait until we see the baby <laughs> but anyway. we probably will wait until we've seen him. Yeah. Well, like we did with Archer. So we're not trying to keep secrets. We literally no. don't know ourselves. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more baby family vlogs because mm -hmm. we're going to be doing some more soon. Yeah. And um, let us know if there's anything you want us to do. Obviously, chuck a comment below um, if you can guess the baby's name. <laughs> um, that's about it. That's about it. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's it. That was good. I like it. Thank you for watching, everyone, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Oh, wait. We should do a handshake. Let's sign off with a handshake now because like, everyone's dabbing. What? Our handshake? Our, our oh, handshake. I thought you just meant like, no, no, like, like nice to meet you. No, no, like a dab handshake. What's your cup? What do you mean a dab handshake? So, like, I see, like, everyone's dabbing, or mainly footballers, really, but that you just. So we'll I do don't a, dab. We'll just sign off with a handshake. <laughs> I'm out. No, I need to do a thumbnail. Oh. No, that's so stupid. Let's just pretend we're talking. It's very cheesy.